This is the Compass Update for September the 14th, 2023. Hey, we are in the second floor of the Christian Ministry Center, and this is the nucleus, the hub of where our children's ministry happens. And the great news about that is our children's ministry is growing. Over the last many months, we have seen new families come and uh, become a part of our church family, and we've seen the number of children in our children's ministry grow. Uh, we've seen the number of children, uh, youth, in our youth room just down the hall grow over the last few months. And we are just excited about what God is doing here. As many of you know, we have been praying for um, several years now for a director of our children's ministry program. We see it as a high value to have somebody who can champion the needs of our children's ministry. It's actually, um, you may not know this, it's one of the most challenging ministries in any church. Um, but we are now excited to share with you that on a part-time basis, we've hired Marissa Story, a uh, part of our church family, been a part of our church family for um, over a decade. Um, and her young men, her boys, um, are in the children's ministry. Uh, she is a talented teacher, experienced teacher, um, multiple degrees in education, but more than anything, she has a passion and a desire to make our children's ministry work. And she's already been partnering with and working as one of our children's ministry volunteers for many years. And we are excited to announce to you that um, we have hired her on, on in a part-time capacity to champion our children's ministry. I want to tell you that because I think it's just such positive news. I also want to say God's doing other great things. As I already said, our, our youth ministry is growing and Austin is doing an amazing job there. This past Sunday morning, we had um, the football team join us. And um, I hope to add some pictures to this, but um, we saw um, dozens of college young men um, come to the altar, commit their lives to the Lord. In addition to that, we, we've had over eight uh, dedications to the Lord in the last few weeks. Just amazing things are happening in the life of our church. So I want to celebrate that. I also want to celebrate one other thing, and that is this. The completion of our new bylaws. Uh, you may not find that exciting, but as a member of a team that's been working for well over a year now, well over a year, um, and been dedicated to this process. We have a final product to bring to you, the congregation. And I want to tell you, um, we're excited to have you join us for a town hall meeting the last Wednesday night, I believe that's September the 27th of this month. A night where um, you can come and ask us questions about this document. You'll be able to pick up this document this um, Sunday. You'll also be able to see this document as a PDF in our um, Compass newsletter. With that being said, we want you to look through this. We believe that this document is everything we need it to do. It governs our church. It tells us how decisions are made, who makes decisions. It protects us. It guides us into the future. And I believe it's a wonderful document. And so I want to think, thank, first of all, um, the bylaws committee, who um, served diligently, Don Jackson leading that charge, um, Tommy Frank, uh, Sean Craig Miles, and myself. Uh, and then we've had a, uh, eight peers from the congregation who then reviewed it. The staff reviewed it, and then the elders reviewed it. And all together, we've had over 25 eyes on this document, and we believe it's ready to present to you. To you. And so we'll have a vote in October. We'll tell you more about that in, in moments to come. But I just want to say God is moving in such powerful ways, uh, and we are organizing in such a way to continue that momentum and that growth, and that's exciting news. So with that being said, we hope you will join us for this Sunday as we start a new series called True North, pointing in the direction that God wants us to go. So we'll see you at either 9 or 10, 15 Sunday morning.